हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर संतोष छाजेड एम फॉर्म पी एच डी फार्मास्यूटिकल साइंस एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज अ प्रोफेसर इन मेड्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी नाशिक इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब आई यू पी एस सी नॉम एन क्लेचर विथ एग्जाम्पल्स बेसिकली दिस इज सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन आई यू पी एस सी नॉम एन क्लेचर सो ऑल द बेसिक स्टफ राइट फ्रॉम सिलेक्टिंग लॉन्गेस्ट चैन देन Uh, naming the chain, numbering the chain, and selecting suffix, prefix, everything I have described in my first video about the UPSC nomenclature. So naming alkene, of course, whatever it is there in front of you is a detailed chemistry uh, of alkenes. This is the video where I am not going to describe the detailed chemistry of alkenes. Flashback, what I described in my first video. that i will share with you but along with only one exam uh, i gave you one trick that is nomenclature shall be done in uh, abbreviation that is l l i w so that stands longest continuous chain you have to apply the lowest number rule and once you have done it you have to identify different substituents and functional group presents and basically you have to <coughs> decide the locant after that finally you have to write the name of an alkene as a single word this is what we have learned in my first video now uh, let's have an example from first video compound is there in front of you it looks very simple but uh, i just want to clarify that there is something that there are four possibilities that we can uh, give a name to this particular compound so this is one where we can start numbering from either end and then if we do it in a uh, manner what it is there in the extreme of a left that is name of the compound will be 2 methyl 4 ethyl hexane because uh, methyl is there at second position and ethyl group is there at fourth position on the contrary if we do the numbering from right hand side in that case what will happen is name of same compound will be 5 methyl 3 ethyl hexane based upon number of carbon present we have decided hexane this will remain same but what shall be the numbering that is whether which one is correct that is what we are going to uh, discuss two more possibilities are there and that's how name will be there four ethyl two methyl hexane three ethyl five methyl hexane so things are there that uh, like what shall be the numbering or from which end we should go for the numbering this is one and which substituent will arise first whether it will be methyl or whether it will be ethyl and because of these two thing that is uh, four possible names are there so to resolve this there are two rules loisum rule and rule of alphabetization in detail you can refer the earlier video now what happens is when uh, two substituents are there you, you have to give the numbering in a such way that these uh, set of substituent will have lowest possible number so we have to give the numbering definitely from the left hand side so that if we do in this manner then the position of substituent will be 2 and 4 if we do numbering from right hand side then the position of substituent will be 3 and 5 so lowest sum or lowest set will be 2 and 4 numbering must be done in this case will be from the left hand side other problem what we are talking about is whether ethyl will be first or methyl will be first it can be resolved by the rule of alphabetization and rule says that when you have multiple substituents present like alkyl substituents are there or other substituents are there in that case the one which will come alphabetically first will remain present preferentially so correct name of this compound will be 4 ethyl 2 methyl hexane because e comes prior to m according to the alphabetization and that's why you have to write the name considering 4 dash ethyl dash 2 methyl hexane so this is all about what we have learned in case of an alkene now we will now we'll discuss how to name alkenes so when we compare structures of uh, alkenes and alkenes definitely there is a presence of double bond is there and most of the rule what we have learned will be the same in case of alkene but the fact is that we cannot ignore the presence of a double bond so we have to select the chain if branching is there the one which will contain or it must contain the double bond numbering shall be done in a such a manner that your double bond will have lowest possible number so these two things are very important in naming the alkene so i'll just uh, uh, put rules in front of you select the longest and continuous chain of carbon containing the carbon carbon double bond 
numbering shall be done in a manner that double bond will have the lowest possible number so you could see that double bond is there at extreme right so you have to start the numbering from that end only where double bond is present so in in this case i have started numbering in a manner i have started from double bond itself because it is there at the end and so uh, numbering is there from the right hand side in the present compound position of a carbon from which double bond starts is indicated by the lowest number so this is how you have to indicate the position of double bond as well numbering indicating double bond is placed immediately before the suffix ene so this is how you can locate the position of a double bond in given compound so applying all these rule what it is there in front of you the name of compound will be 5-methyl hex dash 1 dash e and e so at five position methyl group is there methyl substituent is there which i have indicated number of carbons are six so that's why prefix hex is there indicating six carbon and position of a double bond it is at terminal end that's why one dash e and e is there so this is how naming of alkenes shall be done so now we will see uh, two examples we will try to name these compounds so you have to apply all the rule what we have learned one already we have done now this is what the second compound will be the name of the second compound is 4 comma 4 dash dimethyl dash 1 paint e now thing is that here two methyl groups are there on fourth carbon now sometime it happens that given compound may contain two double bond or three uh, three double bonds so in that manner we have to name that compound accordingly if two are there it will be dying di indicates two in means double bond if three then try in and so on so in this case the parent chain contains six carbon so prefix will be hex and positions of double bond are one and three so that's why one comma three suffix da is there and diene so indicating presence of two double bond in the compound so that's all about naming alkenes now we'll move forward we'll see how alkynes can be named the one in which cc triple bond is there carbon carbon triple bond is there. so here again thing different uh, naming of alkyne we have to give consideration to the triple bond we have to select the chain which will contain definitely triple bond carbon carbon triple bond followed by numbering shall be done in a manner what we have learned in case of alkene so that alkyne or carbon carbon triple bond will have lowest possible number so select longest and continuous chain of a carbon containing carbon carbon triple bond numbering shall be done uh, in a manner triple bond will have the lowest possible number and position of the carbon atom from which triple bond starts is indicated by the lowest number and suffix y and e must be used in naming the parent compound so basically there are five carbons in the chain and that's why the parent compound will be uh, of course pentyne being an alkyne and numbering we have started from the right hand side because triple bond is close from that end so name of compound will be three methyl paint one in already made mention in naming alkane in my first video that we have to be very careful in using dash and comma in between number and alphabet and in between two numbers respectively so you could see that here very precisely i have used dash in between numbers and alphabets so one more example is there in front of you where you could see that both double bond and triple bond is present in the compound so in this case how you will do the number or how numbering of chain will be carried out so irrespective whether it is double or triple bond you have to do the numbering in a manner either of the multiple bond will have a lowest possible number so even if double bond gets the lowest possible number uh, from a particular numbering system then that will also be accepted so here there is a case where you could see that triple bond is there at extreme of or at terminal end and left hand side so numbering must be done from the end where triple bond is having lowest possible number i am again repeating it is not necessary to start numbering always from triple bond or 
giving consideration to the triple bond but fact is that whichever whether it is double or triple bond will have a lowest possible number one has to give the numbering from that end so in this case name of the compound will be 4 hat in so position of double bond is there in between carbon number 4 and 5 so that is what I have indicated by 4 and alkyne carbon carbon triple bond is there at between carbon number 1 and 2 that is what I have indicated by position 1 so for heptene dash 1 dash in this is how name of compound will be carried out by using the rule when both double and triple bond are present in the same compound now we will see how IUPAC rule is applied for naming one of the organohydroxy compound that is alcohol. So there are two types of compounds are there which contain OH group in their structure. One is alcohol, other one is phenol. But phenols are the one in which OH group will become attached directly to the benzene ring or phenyl ring. Then that's why they are called as a phenol. In case of alcohols OH group will always become attached to aliphatic carbon even if phenyl ring is present at some other part in the given compound name of compound will be uh, alcohol it will not be a phenol best example you can differentiate this terminology you just compare the structures of uh, structures of phenol and benzyl alcohol so quickly we'll go through rules now after naming alkane alkene and alkyne naming alcohols is uh, little easy so again things will remain same you have to identify the uh, parent chain longest continuous chain containing OH group and then you have to do the numbering in a manner OH group will have a lowest possible number and position of OH group is indicated from the carbon to which it has become attached this is how you have to follow the rules and lastly suffix E of an alkane will become replaced by suffix ol so very simple example is there in front of you that is propane to all so we could see that there are three carbon that's why it's an prop and oh group is there at second position so that's why uh, we have written here to dash ol we'll see few example now in front of you you could see that uh, compound is there where oh group is there and at left hand side so Basically, numbering will be done from the end, which will have, uh, which will give the hydroxyl group lowest possible number. And now you could see that at second position of the chain, methyl group is there. So name of compound will be 2-methyl prop as it contains uh, chain having three carbons. So prop 1 all. So even branching is there. We should not become confused whether it is. Uh, uh, like uh, from which end shall I start numbering or something like that of course uh, in the my of course a differentiation of primary secondary and tertiary alcohol I have already done in my video where I have described chemistry of alcohols you can refer that for understanding what mean by primary secondary and tertiary alcohols moving forward another simplest uh, compound whose common name is tertiary butyl alcohol but in uh, IUPA manner or but in IUPAC uh, it will be uh, instead of butyl it will be a propyl so we have to select the chain containing OH group so you could see that name of compound will be 2 methyl propane 2 all and next compound where OH group is there at second position it does contain 4 carbon in the uh, chain so parent compound will be but because it contains 4 carbon so butane or but to all or butane to all this will be the name of uh, compound now naming of cyclic alcohol is important uh, <clears throat> of course they are different from phenol they are not the one which contains uh, uh, the alternate or conjugation is not there cyclic alcohols are named using the prefix cyclo considering the hydroxyl group attached to c1 uh, position so wherever OH group has become attached that will be the first position or that will be the first carbon this is how the ideology is there so when there is no substituent present other than hydroxyl group no issue simply we can call it as a uh, cycloalkanol so first example it is there in front of you it is of cyclopropane 
all because it's a cyclic structure containing three carbon and hydroxyl group is there so we have decided OH group will be there at carbon that carbon will be considered as a one and as there is no substituent there is no need to mention one or something like that and next compound when it contains uh, another substituent in addition to hydroxyl group that is methyl is there and as a rule hydroxyl group the carbon to which hydroxyl group has become attached will be considered as a first and the carbon to which methyl group is become attached will be considered as a second so accordingly name of compound will be 2 methyl cyclohexanol because it contains 6 carbon cyclic structure so that's all about IUPAC nomenclatures of alkenes alkynes and alcohol alcohols if you want to learn chemistry in very simplified manner do follow my videos share my videos with your friends and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you